approach. There's a 20 second countdown to the ignition. There it is, it's been ignited. They've got a pretty good view from where they are. Exactly. Yeah. So you have to, you have heard that the uh, technicians have reported the timing. That is the loop time for calculating the orbit. So that timing is very important for calculating when it is to be separated to orbit. And then uh, this is very important for the preparation of the boondock. So you see, this is the optical track. So this can be only seen by an optical telescope. We're hearing series of reports. Uh, it's already out, I think. It's, uh, you can see the, the flames there. Yeah. Despite the uh, cloudy conditions, I think they're managing to get a pretty good view. So the cloud was there for three days and four days. You have just seen about 30, sec uh, 30 seconds. <laughs> This is the camera on board the main booster. So you're seeing two of the strapped on boosters mm -hmm. left and right. So this is on the core segment. And uh, you'll see very soon that this uh, uh, strap on booster will be separated from the main engine, uh, from the main body of the rocket. And we can expect that in just a, a few minutes. Perhaps? Yes, I think uh, it's happening uh, uh, any minute now. So uh, we're seeing that. So you can see that there are five flames. One is the core flame that is. Uh, hydrogen and oxygen mm. so this engine yeah, has very it's burning out a little bit isn't it yeah but you know this is the, this, the engine is uh, very particular because uh, it's the higher it flies the more powerful it is i mean what we call it the the ratio uh, proportion ratio uh is more efficient uh, once in outer space but the kerosene is more efficient on the ground uh -huh. so we're using the kerosene as a booster uh, and then the uh, hydrogen and oxygen will be used uh, for outer space for So you're seeing these uh, strap-on boosters will be separate very soon, uh, once the fuel is burned out. They will be falling into the Pacific, yes. Uh, well, that's the whole trajectory they designed this uh, launch pad, uh, launch site in Hainan, so that it does not fall on the ground and uh, the habitat area. And then we're seeing that little at uh, the simulation. So that's the simulation. This you see the, uh, the this is burning out. So the flame is not as uh, as uh, powerful. So mm. it will have a separation very soon. And then will they uh, will they be retrieved at all, or will uh, they just be sort of left? Current plan the is uh, is uh, drop into the ocean and give it to the fish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but we'll have we do have you see this uh, separation. So that will be dropped already. <laughs> so now the core engine is the only engine that works. Uh, uh, we call it uh, uh, YF-77. This is uh, the new generation liquid carriers, carriers, uh, uh, hydrogen and oxygen engine. So mm. this, I think, is inside the fairing. So the next maneuver is the separation of the fairing. Once in outer space, we call it uh, 110 kilometers altitude, mm -hmm. uh, the, uh, the fairing will be separate. You can see the middle is the seam of the fairing. We're using some uh, pyrotechnics to, to separate the fairing uh, once it's in, in, out, uh, in altitude, mm. uh, because there's no atmosphere to drag uh, uh, the rocket. So you see the separation of the fairing. Uh, so the fairing has been dropped. So the... Well, this is all very quick, isn't it? So, yes. So now that means that the rocket is in outer space. There's no atmosphere at, the, at this moment. So you're seeing the images now is the, uh, the Meng Tian itself, the, uh, the, space, uh, the segment itself. So the next move would be the separation between the Meng Tian and the rocket itself. Right. And the, uh, the finale would be the deployment of the solar panel. So that, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to, 
where well, we would be considered as a success of the mission. That once you deploy the solar panel, that means that you have a, a right altitude and a right orbit, right. and you are ready to perform the round the moon docking. So that's the main booster that's still going there, right? That we can see. Oh the yes, uh, that's the, the what we call it the single stage rocket because. Oh. Uh, the strapped arm booster with the one engine can kick the whole payload into the orbit. We obviously the boosters carry the propellant, but once it uh, becomes, once it's all used up and it's unwanted weight, it needs to be shed. But how much weight are these boosters? Well, the boosters, uh, are this uh, this segment is about uh, 20 metric tons because, but yeah. once fully fueled, it has uh, the rocket itself along with the fuels has more than. 800 ma metric tons. Oh, wow. So, uh, but it's once it's in, in orbit, it, the fuels are all burned out, and what you have uh, left is the fuel container along mm. with the engine itself. So that has, to, uh, once it's in uh, in orbit, after the separation, it will cl uh, slowly come down to Earth, and it will be disintegrated by uh, 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 by burning uh, in uh. Order the at atmosphere. So nothing will be left, and there's no danger posed to the. Uh, to humankind. Very environmentally friendly. <laughs> Nothing left. Yes, but the separation is happening at the very high uh, orbit, uh, about 400 kilometers above the Earth. So the coming down of the uh, final segment, we call it final segment, even this uh, single segment, the final segment has to take some time. So mm. there's a, a what we call it international uh, uh, norm or practice to uh, what we call it, passivate the final segment. Passivate by means, well, uh, by passivation, we means that we uh, discharge the batteries, mm. uh, we vent the uh, containers, so it does not expose, uh, uh, pose an explosion, uh, explosion uh, danger in orbit, uh, in orbit uh, because with the uh, solar radiation, sometimes it cre increase the temperature, and right. some of the containers can fragment in, uh, in space, so we use a, a passivation technology to um, make it into a dummy so mm. it can grow, uh, slowly come down to earth and disintegrate it in, in, or in atmosphere. How long would that take? And that can take uh, differently. I mean, uh, can take, it can be years. Wow. Yeah. And is this something that, uh, I mean, is, uh, would this be considered something fairly new or is this something that's always been the, the norm? This the is uh, norm. Uh, in, uh, I mean, the, the passivation is relatively new. Uh -huh. uh, before that, we don't consider passivation as, as very important. Uh -huh. uh, now we uh, consider the uh, so Earth environment. You have to minimize yeah. the space debris. Uh, so passivation as well as the what we call end of life uh, propulsion of the satellites is also very important. Either you push it back to atmosphere or you to push it to the what we call a graveyard orbit mm. so that you can move yeah, way, space move space away, space yeah. space. <laughs> make ways for new, new developments. Mm. So how long do you think we have to wait until we see the um, the, the Meng Tian uh, Launching is roughly 10 minutes more or less. Okay. So um, I think uh, in two or three it. minutes, yeah. maybe four or five, uh, we, we're seeing the uh, end of the propulsion uh, of the uh, the engine because the engine has its own capacity of fuel, and mm. fuel has to burn out, and it, it does not have a second kick off. Kick off. Uh, so it, it it's a single burn. So once it's, you see the the engine cease to burn, that means that we'll have separate. But but before this, uh, the engine cease to burn, uh, the there has to be a control of the rocket to insert the. So you see they shut off the engine. Uh, so that means the, the separation oh, right. is happening. It's happening right now. Yeah. No, it is the moving lab module, the separation from yes. the long mass rocket. What you see that's is the, the that's, that's, from the rocket that's the itself, rocket itself. itself. Yeah. So the camera is on the rocket, but we're seeing the Meng Tian yeah. separating from it. So it's on its way, and how long do you think before it docks? Uh, in seconds, we'll uh, start the deployment of the solar panels, and uh, mm -hmm. I think the astronauts are able to communicate now already with the uh, with this uh, with the Meng Tian, mm -hmm. and, uh, and and the ground crew is to to control the deployment of the solar panel before they move uh, any uh, make any movement because the batteries are limited right. on board, so they have to uh, to be very careful on the the next procedure. So the, the every procedure is very carefully designed. Mm. So you see Don't the separation. <laughs> exactly. You see the separation of the segment that does not have any 
uh, major tumbles and turnings. So that means the altitude control can be easily done. So that is very important uh, for the preparation of the docking. So once the solar panels are deployed,